Ridge Teen Spice Shop. We've had the business for six months now. Yeah. March 27th, we opened. We didn't plan to open a tea shop. Uh, we just moved from the city to New Falls. We've been coming up here for years for climbing, running, biking, all those. And then I saw the place open for rent. I wanted tea, spice, coffee, really well curated, really interesting flavors, really interesting all that. I went to Brin, I told the idea, thinking it was gonna be another scratch. <laughs> and then I threw, you know, like the fishing, I just threw it out there and I got hooked. We've yeah. been together for nine years and he always got a crazy idea. <laughs> Literally, he's like, so I had this idea. I'm like, all right. As a team, I feel like we collab really well on like different roles of the business. We're not people that we can show you the most uh, traditional way because we're not Japanese, Indian, Chinese, Sri Lankans, all the teas that they come from. So we don't want to step onto like traditional stuff. We can kind of like guide you what you know traditional tea tastes like, but we're more like a modern tea shop. What's it called? Blank canvas. Yeah, you know, it's just like, okay, well, like, what does it taste like to put green rooibos, chrysanthemum, and spearmint together? And that's like been one of our favorite combos. Yeah. It's like our low key. It's like a lot of people expect when you go into a tea shop, like an ounce of tea can cost like at at minimum like ten dollars, you know, and like that's super high quality tea, which is awesome. But not everyone can afford that. Some people just want to start getting into tea. Yeah. Um, and you know, when it, an ounce gets you about eight to ten cups, so like we have a lot of teas that are like in the three dollar range to like a usually like under five dollars, and then we do have a couple that are that are more high end that are like yeah. six and seven, but that's like our max. I'm a person, we we're like, we're the couple that we like to experience, we like to smell it, so we let people smell it, see it, you know, like kind of experience that and to blend their own teas. Yeah. That's something that you cannot find in many places. Like, yeah. uh, so if you have an idea of like blending all at once, we're happy to do it. We give you our suggestion, our opinion, but we're not going to tell you no. Because yeah. probably the best is the next new tea. You know, like we don't know. So if two mindsets can make a good tea, what about 10,000 minds can make the best tea? So it's like, I don't know, playing around with like people's feelings and people like it and the excitement of like, I want to do this one and this one and this one and this one. And you're yeah. like, ah, oh, sure, I would we'll do it. it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know what it's going to taste like. Someone was like, how many options? Could this? I'm like, well, if you know how, I don't know how to do that type of math, but like <laughs> definitely thousands. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you know, like. That we have <laughs> three on like always we're going to have them is the lavender or gray with fresh fruit lemonade. The Purple Dreams is just like a classic. It's lavender, uh, sage, and, yeah. and butterfly pea flowers and herbal. And then we have the other one that is like the wild card that people are super into it or like, mm. I don't want to try that. Yeah. It's the spicy hibiscus. It's hibiscus flower, chili flakes, and cinnamon sticks. So it's like a whole mix of that. And those three are always going to be there, but then we like to always bring two new specials to the menu. And it is pretty fun to sit on Thursdays and just look at the wall and be like, We're like hmm. uh, <laughs> oh, let's do this, yeah. let's do that, let's do this. And then we tried and we're like, shit, that was good. <laughs> I just remember yeah. Ar the Arnold Palmer's came from a customer. She like came in and was like, oh, do you guys do like Arnold Palmer's? Do you have lemonade? And we're like, no, but you should come back on Saturday because we'll have it then. Yeah. Um, that's um, crazy. Yeah, yeah, like the last one where we had that it was a hit for like two weekends, sold out. It was just like people were asking for it. it was the peach black with almond oolong, peach puree, locally grown in Jenkins and Lukens, and then we did fresh squeezed lemonade. And that was like it was so good. a killer. Was so we had to bring it back for another next week, and then finally peach um, season's over season now. is over. Yeah. And that's another thing we do seasonal purees of like fruits so people can get used to it of what it's like to live on seasons <laughs> instead of having blueberries the whole year and you don't know where they're coming from why they're here if it's cold they don't grow here so that's another you know philosophy that is behind our their root. like we get yeah. tourists we get locals we get college students we get like older middle, people middle elderly school kids. Anybody can drink it. 
because coffee can be just caffeine or decaf. You come in here, you're not just gonna leave like that. You're gonna spend at least three minutes until that tea steeps. In those three minutes, we're gonna have a conversation. In those three minutes, we're gonna build a relationship. In those three minutes, you're gonna have your hot tea or latte or whatever you need, and then you're gonna walk out. Our future that we want, yes, we want to open another location. Bottle, the sparkling. Yeah, that's another. That would be really cool. Sparkling Arnold Palmer. Future is, is, is a scary, beautiful place. <laughs> and you can contact us through Instagram, Facebook, email, and our hours are... Oh, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. for right now. Our menu is Instagram. And I don't know the phone number. For older no one's people. gonna call. <laughs> that is a ring, so come on, we have to give her a number.